In this video, I'll be going over the first question of a practice test I used to hand out when I was teaching at university. I will be going over every single question on that test. I cannot show you the test because that's a copyright infringement, and that's always fun to deal with. But we're going to be going over every single question. I have tweaked the numbers so that it's not word for word. The first question is, suppose that the mean and standard deviation of the number of gallons of milk sold per day at a local supermarket are 194.35 and 22.74, respectively, and is approximately normally distributed. Calculate the proportion of days that the supermarket will sell below 175.32 gallons of milk. So from the question, we know that uh, what the population mean and population standard deviation are and that what we're using is a normally distributed approximation in regards to the x that we were given. So the x that we were given was 175.32. The point of this question is to immediately let you know that you're going to go into the z distribution. And you know that from it saying normally distributed. And it's just a matter of plug and chugging. So we have z equals x minus mu over sigma, and we have everything we need. We have 175.32 is x minus 194.35 is mu. After that subtraction, divided by 22.74, and that gives you the z-score, which is negative 0 0.83685. Now, in most cases, you're going to want to just round up to negative 0.84 so that when you do the z-score uh, comparison to the z-table, you know exactly where to go, and since rounding, that's what you would use. And so we know from the z-table, proportion is 0 0.2005, so that's what it is from the z-table. If you're able to use a z-calculator, whether in your calculator or the teacher gives you access to uh, online resources in some capacity, the specific calculation is 0 0.20134. So that's it for the question. It only takes a few minutes to do. Uh, don't worry though, I don't want to make it feel like you need to do it really fast because everyone takes their own time to do it. But that's it. I will be putting out another video with the next question tomorrow and then proceeding until we're done with this practice exam. So thanks for watching and stay nerdy my friends.